Mm, I guess most of you are sleeping. I need a bigger hello. Uh, yes. Here, I'm Deepika Davluri, the Indian Space Ambassador for International Space Education Institute and National Aeronautics and Space Administration, USA. Next. Yes, today's my theme is exploring the unexplored. Yeah, as you heard my designation and as you heard the theme, of course, it will come uh, into your uh, like uh, three pound brain that it is going to be about Mars, Moon, stars or beyond that or beyond that. And seriously, I'm telling I'm not going to speak anything about this because uh, I'm not uh, so worthy and I'm not, uh, I don't hold a degree in any of the subjects that are specially related to space science. Not astronomy, not uh, aerospace, not aeronautical, nothing of that. And I'm just a chemical engineer and I'm just a 2016 passed out of Satyabama University. Yes, this has been my passion. And today I'm going to narrate you my story, where, ed, where did I start my exploration and how a chemical engineering student ended up being a NASA space ambassador. Yes, at the age of 14. What will be our usual aims at the age of 14? Next year will be the board exam, that year uh, annual exam, uh, pre-final, that is all will be in our head. And we'll be hearing to routine classes of geography, history, English, maths, everything. And teachers will be telling, yeah, next year if you're in the same way, no, you will completely fail in the board exam. Parents also will be saying the same thing. Of course, even I face the same thing. My mother, uh, she, I guess she used all the equipments in the house, like slipper to <laughs> dog's chain <laughs> to hit me and make me study. But... Uh, listening to geography, history and uh, all the things, no? I came to know that we humans are neglecting the way we are living. And we are just reading in subjects and conducting conferences of how to actually develop our state of living. So I also thought I should contribute something to the society, then peeped, uh, peeped in an idea that I have to use my mathematical skills, which I'm very good at, and I have to develop some city that is highly secured, very energy conservative, highly enriched, highly san sanitized, and it should be almost one of the best planned cities, uh, because I, I used to read history with a lot of interest from Harappan to the current planned cities that are going on. I used to read their history and I used to make notes of that. And then, uh, you know, at the uh, age of 14, that time I took my idea. My teachers were like, Deepika, after getting so much of beating at the house and so many classes at the school also, you won't change your mentality. You don't want to study, so you're bringing new, new reasons to avoid your studies and you're telling that you want to go to this competition, that competition. This is not the way you live. They called to my parents. Parents came to school and they started telling that your child is totally becoming uh, a rotten case. She doesn't want to play. She want to work on something. She want to read maths 24 by 7. My maths teachers were, were also not supporting this. And uh, then at the age of 15 and 16, uh, 15, you will complete your, with your uh, like 10th board exams. All your parents need is 10 CGPA so that happily they can rest for some days. It happened with me also and then I was joined in one of the two great branches, great colleges, the masters of uh, intermediate. I was joined into one in April itself. A March 31st I completed my exam. April 15th I was there with my bag and luggage. I was sent in that day to uh, next uh, April 15, after two years, 2012, April 15, the same thing, IIT, and uh, AAEE, etc, etc. So, I became so negligent in that, I became so dumb that ideas stopped hitting my brain. I used to just read, write the exams, read and write the exams. I finally, I was unable to crack IIT. I was f uh, unable to crack AAEE. So, I decided that ISAT is impossible, so I didn't check the result also. But luckily, I cracked a seat in that. Uh, that I checked after uh, that uh, one of the master has posted a poster on my name in my city. Then I thought, oh man, I did this, but I, uh, but I already by that time itself in Satyabama, my father thought this useless child will never get an engineering seat, so I have to pay donation or something. So he booked a seat there. I went to my college on August 1st, 2012. That time my mother strictly told me, by the end of 2017, your father is going to retire and you need to have some job. 
whatever you have is different but you need to have some job you should not be a burden on him she she kept on telling from my lkg itself that this is routine but this time she told very strictly and i love my mother so much she has tears in her eyes she was not crying because i am leaving her and going she is crying because i am not serious about my life and then she told this and there this taj mahal model of my college there i felt what is life i felt the liberty to learn to come out and learn and then i started my real process of learning seriously 22 hours a day i used to work still i used to like so full of energy that i can do something more i can contribute something more and uh, first year i i actually chemical engineering means most of the dabba fellows who doesn't have anything those people will be saying i was joined in chemical because i was telling civil and all doesn't get into the head it's better i go for chemical so i joined in chemical engineering there uh, among all the people who are there in the session i was the topper means they were studying very much uh, far worse than me <laughs> that i have to say it's not that i'm studying something better and then uh, i was there so uh, we had a competition uh, organized by maths club they said bring some models some w- with some math modeling so that we can you can win exciting prizes that was a 5000 prize so i thought okay 5000 i'll buy something for my mom so i went and participated that in that i bought some material with 500 rupees within the university campus i made my model i kept it over there and there uh, my f- first question which engineering do you belong to chemical engineering what is this you kept an architecture model because it's completely of the city planning i i felt that uh, okay whatever they ask i answered and luckily i don't know what impressed them they gave me some prize i came back with that from that day my research ability is what i have uh, like i came to know that i even i can do some research my hod observed that and she started uh, giving me opportunity to, to prove myself again and again and developing my model in the next years i started adding up essence of chemical engineering into it and i started developing and i made it 0% effluent and 100% energy conservative my model and then there was an international uh, maths conference by stanford university uh, in collaboration some college held it i rarely remember that college because totally till now i have made paper presentations in more than 150 colleges all over india for that reason i don't remember it that college i went and our dean also came along with us to that college because it's an international conference and people ha- came from abroad so i went there i presented my model and luckily it won the first prize and my dean she actually remembered that model she called me the next day to her chamber and she told me why don't you get this patented and suggest it to some city planning commissions when you have such a good model you have to do something as usual you know the government thing they never accept something without a phd so i kept on roaming around the office in chennai assam like delhi everywhere i used to send letters more than 20 plan- city planning commissions told it is impossible don't waste our time don't waste your time stay at home so i came i used to come back to my hostel but something in me always used to say this is possible somewhere on earth maybe an island maybe on something this is possible few of the people used to say this is a harappan model this is an atlanta city model something something i don't know like i don't know if it was there but for this i applied for a patent i started working on that then uh, i ho- i met with a senior named jesleen joson she was already working with nasa at that time she has been selected for oi in 2030 there uh, she told me why don't you go with the mars city planning competition why don't you apply for that so i was about to apply for that but that was heavy like charging thing so i thought uh, let me try for some sponsorships before that uh, i got some internship calls from reliance and all i started going that going there and uh, then uh, being a girl half of the opportunities are stopped for you in india and satyabhama college you might have heard it for discipline completely like blockage for us in few things so i got an internship in saudi uh, i was department topper i had research background i had everything but uh, i was rejected 
all because of i am a girl later on no one went for that but i was rejected because i am a girl and it's not safe to send someone to an arab country this is what the reason they have said i felt so bad i was eagerly waiting for some abroad opportunity now i just want to ask you people to succeed in a field what is it actually needed can anyone answer uh, answer that for me what are the things actually needed uh is all that you need not have knowledge actually i'm just asking i have a doubt because uh, even i was not having knowledge in space science or something like that uh, there are many people in space in uh, like that space science category like saurabh bhai who had huge years of research but me i don't have any kind of research in the space vehicles or anything i just got i just saw a facebook post on my seniors wall about this international space education institute it actually st- teaches science of space vehicles mainly about the transportation systems that can be used in space when we can colonize it about the rovers so i just applied there were 4000 applications from all over india and luckily four of us got selected and two of us from the same college so we went there i was dumb person because aerospace engineering i don't know designing anything i just learned few design softwares for basics like cad modeling and uh, autocad i was uh, having some civil engineering friends those were helping me in learning this there was something needed called solid work so i was back of uh, one of my friend please teach it in one day or please somehow we both like before day about to leave for flight at morning 6 o'clock before the night till 2 o'clock i was sitting and i was learning how to make, how to work on the solid works having a hands on experience on cad i was able to make few things on this and and then uh, these were the things that were taught for me in abroad in germany safety excellence teamwork integrity and it is finally resulting in mission success this is what nasa follows so finally being for a month over there and then learning all this and inculcating i was nominated for nasa rover challenge through team india and germany's collaboration through the international space education institute which has been almost winner from past 10 years it's continuously winning and i have been nominated for this as a designer we finally the day came Uh, visa and all were very easy we got a lifetime visa we were so lucky we felt we went there and the problem started over there there are 40 students from bolivia russia japan italy and uh, germany these people don't know english and we don't know their language so all that we used to do is just keep the translator and uh, we used to translate i remember one of my friend vadim from russia he used to sell like this whenever we speak vadim dipika dipika vadim speak speak that means we i want to speak to you so please on your translator with such difficulty we stayed in wa- a single dormitory for 40 days we all students we kept on working our rover finally on the day we have uh, like uh, on the race when the rover was there i was a, i was completely tense then my director said one thing see this is just a trial this is just a part of life whatever is it you have to ac- accept it completely and uh, we didn't make a good performance on the first day second day i didn't went to see the performance itself i thought myself as bad luck yaar what is this every year it wins and this year because of me the mistakes happened and all i felt this way i di- directly went to the valedictory function and there we got the best multinational team award for team india and germany collaboration and uh, that was a precious moment for us team india and then while i was uh, we were selected for the nasa vip tour so we we got a chance to tour six of the nasa space centers and we went on a tour and finally it was april 19th and on april 19th uh, uh, it was 11:30 no 1:30 in the afternoon over there and it was almost 12 on april 20 over here it was my birthday 
and uh, this person has announced okay the next space ambassadors are going to be these people for these countries it was a very proud moment for me i felt so happy <laughs> and these days what i what i am doing basically is i have i am working on my own projects i i didn't go based on anyone and uh, i'm working for even the rover design for rover challenge 2017 as a crew advisor and i am uh, from past 8 months i am specially exploring different cities in the world i'm studying ideas of school students i'm working in schools in more than like uh, 10 schools in my area i'm working as a as an advisory board member and also as a director for one of the school i'm studying their ideas how innovative they are because we can't let go the situations we have to change at some point and i'm searching for the root causes of unrest on earth what is making us to suffer and what is making us to explore a different planet and thinking of innovations that might result in sustainability one day so these are helping me in improving my urbanization model so some day i can propose it to one of the uh, space agencies and there might be a colonization model of this type so finally you people uh, i told my story of exploration and you people might have explored something from my speech i want to know what you have see i i barely i want two things to be understood by you only key for hard work is having self confidence the confidence that you can do time is not a limit in 5 minutes also there are things that you know there are wonders that have happened in just 5 minutes of time don't keep any barriers for you sky is not the limit there is much much beyond that so all i say is stay calm think you are the best feel like a star act like a servant learn things let people criticize it's okay if they say you are useless also i heard n number of times from my home <laughs> take every obstacle as a challenge show the world you can yes everyone can do everything and trust me you will and your soul has no limit thank you